Right, children. So, very, very good morning. <coughs> so, this is the first question. This is the first question uh, revision test. So, if one of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial k minus 1 into x square plus kx plus 1 is minus 3, then the value of k is dash. So, the options are given to 4 by 3, minus 4 by 3, 2 by 3, and minus 2 by 3. So, the children, the, this kind of the question, first we need to understand very carefully. The question, read carefully one. One of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial k minus 1 of x square plus kx plus 1 is minus 3. Okay. <clears throat> So the children say, as we know, the zero of the polynomial means compulsory. Uh, it is the value of the variable which satisfies the uh, given polynomial, isn't it? Means by substituting the zero of the polynomial in that polynomial, we get the uh, that will be equal to zero, children. Okay. So the children, first of all, I am writing the uh, equation. No, sorry, quadratic polynomial k minus one into x square plus k x plus one as minus 3 is 0 of quadratic polynomial children. So, instead of x, just a substitute minus 3. So, by substituting, then what do you get here? k minus of minus 3 whole square plus k of minus 3 and plus 1 is equal to 0. Why the is equal to 0 is getting children? Why? Because minus 3 is a 0 of polynomial. Compulsory, it satisfies the equation means it uh, uh, it makes the value of the equation as zero so that i equated zero now the children see k minus one of minus three whole square is nine and minus three into k is equal to minus three k and plus one is equal to zero and the children see next to this nine you substitute uh, sorry you multiply it with inside now nine into k is equal to nine k and minus nine and minus three k plus one is equal to zero now the children, let us subtract the uh, <clears throat> similar um, like terms here. 9k minus 3k is equal to 6k and minus 9 and plus 1 is equal to minus 8. That is equal to 0. Now 6k is equal to minus 8. Send this side, children. We get here plus side and k is equal to 8 by 6 and uh, 2 4 sine 2 3. The answer is 4 by 3. So, the what is the first option is correct option here, okay? Option A is correct answer now. Option A is correct answer. Now, let's see, children, next uh, second problem. A quadratic polynomial whose zeros are minus 3 and 4 is. Children, in this uh, a particular problem, we know the formula. That formula is x square minus x of alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta is equal to zero. Got it. So this is the formula to find the uh, quadratic polynomial. So as you said, the polynomial children, so here must not be equal to zero. Right. So x square minus x of alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta is the formula to find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are noun. So, the zeros are alpha, comma, beta, children. Now, the alpha is equal to minus 3 and beta is equal to 4 are given here. So, just a substitute, children, that's it. Then we get here x square minus x of alpha plus beta. Alpha is equal to minus 3 plus beta is equal to 4. And the plus alpha is equal to minus 3 plus beta is equal to 4. Now, x square minus x into minus 3 plus 4 is equal to 1. Minus 1. Plus 1. Now, plus 1, sir. Yeah. Now, the plus here, minus into plus minus, 3 goes to 12, children. Now, we get minus here, x square minus x minus 12 with a quality polynomial whose uh, uh, zeros are minus 3 and 4, children. Okay. So, the option C is cut. Option C is correct, okay. 
Now the next third problem. If one of the zeros of the cubic polynomial ax cubed plus bx square, uh, bx square plus cx plus d is zero, the product of the other two zeros is dash. Children, we know that children, so whenever it comes to this cubic polynomial, is this cubic polynomial? So the alpha pet alpha beta and beta gamma and gamma alpha is equal to c by a. This is the formula uh, that there is children. So by using this formula, what he has given the one of the zeros of cubic polynomial is zero. So we can take anything zero children, either alpha is equal to zero or beta is equal to zero or gamma is equal to zero. So we can take anything children. For example, alpha is equal to zero. If I take then what happens children see? So this entire uh, terms becomes zero. This also entire uh, terms becomes zero. Why? Because as there is alpha here, alpha is equal to zero. So zero into beta and uh, beta into gamma plus gamma into zero. So the children, this entire term will vanish. So the remaining product is beta into gamma that is equal to C by A. What, are, what is beta into gamma? It is the product of other two zeros. So the children, the answer, the appropriate answer is B. So, so very simple, just we have taken the formula alpha into beta plus beta into gamma and gamma alpha is equal to C by A. Just uh, we have taken alpha is equal to zero. Why? Because in the question, one of the zero is zero is given. So we have taken alpha is equal to zero children. So we substitute alpha is equal to zero. Then uh, the first term, the last term will vanish. Now the uh, beta into gamma is equal to C by A. Okay. Even you can take beta is equal to zero and R is, uh, gamma is equal to zero also children. So uh, same answer you will get here. Right children, now let us go to the fourth problem. X square plus one is equal to zero. <clears throat> Now, let us assume that y is equal to x square plus 1. Now, the children see, uh, let us get the uh, coordinates of this y is equal to x square plus 1. Then later we can uh, 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 draw on the graph here. Now, if you see children, x is equal to 0. By substituting x is equal to 0, then we get here y is equal to 0 square plus 1. Now, that is equal to 1. Now, y is equal to 1. So nothing but children, 0, 1 is the turning point of the uh, this uh, parabola children. Why? Because we know the children, this is the quadratic equation. The graph of the quadratic equation will be in the shape of parabola. So the children see, so it turns at the point of 0, 1, whenever x is equal to 0. So the children see, like this it happens. But if you go with other problems, for example, uh, other values, for example, children, x and y, for example, x is equal to 0, so we get 1. And if you take here x is equal to 1, children, then what happens? Uh, 1 square plus 1 is nothing but 1 plus 1 is 2. So 1 is 2. So children, see, if going uh, upwards, children, see, and again, if you take here 2, and 2 square plus 1, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Again, it goes up stage. Okay, upwards here. And if, for example, if you take any negative values here, minus 1, even minus 1 also, we get again minus 1 whole square plus 1. As there is a square of on x children, so if it is negative term also, it becomes positive as there is a square. So minus 1 whole square plus 1. Nothing but 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So again, big, so it goes upwards. So the children, this is the turning point children. So that what we can understand. So as it, the turning point is here 0 comma 1, 0 comma 1. So the children, it never touches the x-axis. So the children see option C is an absolutely correct answer. So neither touches nor intersect the x-axis. Now, the next problem is if f of x is equal to 5x minus 10 is divided by x minus root 2, then the remainder will be non-zero rational number and an, uh, an irrational number and c is 0 and f of 1 by root 2. Okay. 
Now let me see children, 5x minus 10. So only by the by using reminder theorem, children, as it is divided by x minus 2 to find the reminder. So by factor theorem, then uh, reminder theorem, what do we get, children? So we need to take the zero of uh, x minus root two. Now we get here x is equal to root two. Now just to substitute x is equal to root two in this given polynomial, children. Therefore, f of root two is equal. To, then we get here five into root two minus ten. So then we get children five into root two minus ten. Now the tell me children five into root two minus ten is an irrational number. So easily we can do children see. So that the option B is an absolutely correct answer now. Right. If the points M1 comma minus 1, M3 comma minus 4, 0 minus 1 comma minus 10, P minus 2 comma 3, Q7 comma 3, R9 comma minus 2 are plotted on the graph sheet by Surya of grade 10, then the points in the fourth uh, quadrant are. The children see, we, uh, very good. So the children see, we know the children see, the coordinate axis, the coordinate axis divides the plane into four parts here. The first quadrant and the second quadrant and third quadrant and fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, both are positive children, X and Y, both quadrants are positive. And uh, uh, in Q2 quadrant, X is negative, Y is positive. In Q3 quadrant, both are negative. In Q4 quadrant children, then uh, what do you get children? And uh, uh, X is positive and Y is negative. So the children see what is he asking us that we need to, uh, we need to pick up the points which lies in the fourth quadrant. Means in the fourth quadrant, uh, the X quadrant must be positive and Y quadrant must be negative children. That's simple. No need of plotting the points here. All the students, waste the time by plotting the points here. Only just to keep in your mind the strategy, children, just see x coordinate must be positive and y coordinate must be negative. So the children see x is positive, y is negative. Please pick up it here. So this is the point. And also this is the point. See here x is positive, y is negative. X is positive, y is negative. Okay. And this, if you see here, oh, children, negative, negative. So it won't and negative positive won't and both are positive won't and your positive negative very good this is the point so what are the points children m n r your name sir yes m and r are the points lies in the co uh, fourth quarter children the option b is an absolutely correct answer so any doubt children See the seventh problem. If the perpendicular distance of your point P from the x-axis is seven units, and the foot of the perpendicular lies on the negative direction of x-axis, then the point P has x coordinate is equal to minus seven, y coordinate is seven, and y coordinate is equal to minus seven. Uh, the B R C option means either uh, y coordinate is seven or uh, y coordinate is minus 7. So that depend upon the children, we can decide uh, by drawing the figure here. For example, roughly I'm drawing a children. So I'm drawing a coordinate plane here. OK. Uh, <laughs> so I'm drawing a coordinate plane. Right. So if the perpendicular distance of the point P of the x-axis is 7 units, and foot of the perpendicular lies in the negative direction. Children, see, this is the negative direction of uh, here, yeah, negative direction of x axis, children. So the point V from the x axis is 7 units. So the children see 7 units as it is lies on the negative direction, children. So the, uh, uh, the point may be here, or the point may be here, children. As he didn't mention about the coordinates of the P, okay. If X is negative, Y is positive. If X is uh, X comma Y both are negative, then so we can decide their uh, their quadrant here. But as he has not given 
uh, any uh, particular uh, children see so x axis is seven units and foot of the perpendicular lies in the negative direction on the x axis then the point p has now tell me children then what exact quadrant uh, we can see here whether q2 or q4 q3 q3 sir q3 sir are you sure x-axis uh, point p from the x-axis seven units from the x-axis seven units children so the children see so as it is distance we can't uh, measure with negative term so that children it may lie in q2 or q3 you get my point why because yes, seven and minus seven for example this point for example this point is seven units away from the x-axis and this point also is seven units away from the uh, uh, x-axis children so the children the point p may lies either q2 quadrant or q4 quadrant so the children y coordinate may be seven or minus seven so that option d is an absolutely correct answer children Now let's go to the eighth problem, children. The points a comma zero, zero comma b, and zero comma zero are plotted on the graph sheet. The area of the triangle formed by this point here. So very simple medicines, just to draw the x-axis and y-axis. Okay, and a comma zero, zero comma b, and zero comma zero. So this is zero comma zero, children. So zero comma zero and a comma zero, for example, I'm taking here, and uh, zero comma b, I'm taking here, and just join uh, a b here. Now the children see if you see here, this is the O and A and B, O A B triangle. What kind of the triangle O A B children? Triangle. Wonderful. Yes, sir. So the we know the children the area of the right angle triangle as he asking area, so then we decide that it is a right angle triangle. We got it here, the area of the triangle. So half into product of perpendicular legs here. So the product of this leg and this leg children. So O A into O B. Now O A is equal to A units and O B is equal to B units. Okay. Now half into a into b half a b. That's it. So this is the area of tri triangle formed by O A B on the coordinate plane. So the children, so there is no option here, but there is our option. None of this, none of this in the correct option here. Now, right, children, let us go to the next problem now. The distance between minus one zero, or minus one comma zero, and five comma zero. So easily we can do this, children. The formula is under root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. So this we can take as x one y one and x two y two. Now that is equal to phi of Phi minus of minus one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square y two y one both are zeros here so zero minus zero whole square. Now under root of phi minus into minus plus plus one whole square so zero minus zero is zero square zero square is equal to zero so I'm not taking here okay you can take uh, five plus one whole square is six square now square and root get cancelled the answer would be plus six. So the answer is children option A. Right, children, and the next, uh, let us go to the next problem. The x-axis divides the line segment joining the points 2, comma minus 3 and 5, comma 6 in the ratio of. Children, see. So we need to uh, take a section formula. 
that is mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n comma uh, my2 plus ny1 by m plus n this is the formula so we have no need of substituting all these students this is x1 y1 and x2 y2 so there is no need of substituting as x axis is dividing the line segment joining these two points means the point which divides which divides this line segment will be lie on the x axis as we know that the point on the x axis always it has children zero as its y coordinate isn't it so the children see only just you take this part and make it equal to zero and substitute y1 and y2 values and make it equal to zero you will get the m and n values here okay and don't substitute this all the things here so the children why because why uh, we are equating y coordinate is zero why because the point which divides this line segment will be lie on the x axis on e, uh, each and every point in the x axis has y cone is zero children so the children so let us take this part this part and substitute y2 and y1 values and make it equal to zero you will get the m and n values now let's see uh, m y2 the y2 is 6 plus n of y1 is minus 3 by m plus n so we need to find m is to n ratio so we don't know m and n value so that's what i'm saying so as it is uh, the point lies on the x axis children then so that this is equal to zero now what do you get here 6 into m is equal to 6 m and minus 3 n this entire m plus n parts in this side it becomes zero now 6 m and minus 3 n send this side plus 3 n now n send this side and 6 send that side now m by n is equal to 3 by 6 now three ones three twos therefore m by n is equal to one by two now m is to n is equal to one is to two thanks for watching my dear friends and friends so i think you like this video if you like this video please uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel my dear friends and friends so please kindly support me by subscribing this channel and uh, I will be very thankful to you if you like and share, share this video to your friends and relatives and your students. If you are a teacher, please kindly support me. So please share it to your friends and ask them to watch this video. So please and don't forget to comment. I, I want your feedback, my dear friends. So thanks for watching. You are Marvin Arishaddi.